Select a reporting method to provide employee payroll information for the payroll reporting period. Filing methods include attach a file, manual entry, and no employee payroll. If you select attach a file, instructions will display on how to successfully upload a file with payroll detail. Click on the hyperlink, download this Excel file. Depending on your browser, a message will display for you to open or save the file. Select either and open the Excel file. An Excel file will open for you to input employee payroll information. Select Enable Editing and then save the file to your computer. When you save the file, it will default to the file name with the account number and payroll reporting end date. Do no changes to the default file name as it will be easier to find when you upload the file. There are additional worksheets within the template to assist with filing the report to include a sample worksheet and my rate classes. Input employee information into the file. Security has been implemented in the file so only the requested columns can be entered with payroll information. Once you have completed input of employee information, save the file and close it. Back in My WSI Payroll Reporting, select the magnifying glass to upload the template. Navigate to find the Excel file that was completed with the employee payroll information and select Open. This will save the file into the system. The manual entry selection only allows manual entry of up to 100 employees. If there are more than 100 employees, use an attached file method. Select Import button to import the employees reported last year. If you need to add a new row employee, select Add. To delete all payroll information, use the Delete button at the top of the list. To delete just one employee row, use the Delete button within that row. Select No Payroll if there was no employee payroll information to report for the payroll reporting period. When you have finished entering payroll information, select Save to save the information, or select Save and Next to save and move on to the next page. Selecting Back will take you to the prior page. And that breadcrumb trail at the top can also be used for navigation to prior pages.